Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. The 7 star terror raid event for Eevee is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video, as well as the best solo builds for you to take into your game. So to kick us off, we'll take a look at all the event details that is running from the 17th as of recording this video until the 20th of November. It will be running just for this weekend to celebrate Eevee Day and it won't have a return. So make sure if you are wanting to take part in this event, you grab the opportunity to get it while you can. It will be level 100. It will have that hidden ability anticipation and its moves that it will be using are Double Edge, Hyper Voice, Bite, Charm and additional move will be Baby Doll Eyes. It does have the mightiest mark, is going to be a normal terror type. It is going to carry the hardy nature and it will not have a held item like a lot of us expected it to have something like the Eviolite. It does not have a held item, so no need for any knockoffs there. But like always, it is only going to be catchable once per save file. And the big important thing after you've got the Eevee is going to be the item drops that you're going to get. The first lot of items that you're going to get from defeating this the first time are going to be a very good haul. You're going to get the Water Stone, Thunder Stone, Fire Stone, Leaf Stone and the Ice Stone as well as an Ability Patch, lots of normal Terror Shards, Level Up Candies and some HP up. Then the repeated raids after you do this, they're going to offer up no Evolution Stones but you will get an array of Level Up Candies, the EV Reducing Berries as well as some other high cost items that you'll have the chance of getting. So a decent one to repeat over the weekend for these high cost items. Like I say, the event itself will be running from the 17th until the 20th of November. To access this event in your game, you're gonna need to come down to your poker portal, make sure you are connected to the internet, then come down into your mystery gifts and then check poker portal news. Once you've done this, it will update all of the terror raid dens in the Paldea region. And just bear in mind, if you have the DLC pack 2, it will only appear in the Paldea region, not in Kitakami. And then you'll be able to locate it on your map and it will look like a 6 star terror raid, but it'll be a 7 star terror raid with the normal terror type symbol and you just want to head over to it. We've got three builds that we're going to feature today. All of them are going to be able to go into the Eevee raid and solo it very easily in your games. One of them is going to be the one that we featured in our preview article. And it is going to be Como All, probably one of the fastest ways to beat the Eevee over this weekend. We have changed the setup slightly, but as always, all of the builds will be down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at them after the video. But Como All going to be a dragon and fighting type. The terror type is fighting. We've got the Shell Bell as the held item as it gives us a line of recovery throughout the raid. And it will be level 100. Make sure that you do hyper train your Pokemon as well. Then we've got a move set of Iron Defense and Body Press. The only thing that I would say is a recommendation for Coma or, or any other Body Presses that we'll be using in this raid is to make sure that you do PP Max your Body Press before going into the raid because I did this with Coma or and I went right down to my last Body Press before I've PP'd it up. Uh, but it is a very effective way of beating it with the Body Press because of the likes of Charm that are going to lower your attack and the baby doll eyes that will lower your attack again, but body press relies on your defense stats, so that is where the damage is coming from, which is unaffected when you go into the raid. Iron defense obviously boosts your defense even further, so you wanna use that three times, ideally, after you've triastalized, body press gonna be doing a lot of damage. The ability that we've got on this coma or is soundproof, that is gonna be key in this battle because soundproof gives you complete immunity from hyper voice so you're only really worrying about those physical type attacks like double edge like bite which are not going to be doing anything especially after you've got an iron defense up the ev spread is going to be 252 in hp and 252 in defense and then the rest dumped in special defense although it doesn't really matter about the remainder with an impish nature as well so that is the coma or next up is a galarian zapdos it is going to be a fighting and flying type of course i do realize not everyone has access to the galarian zapdos but that's where we featured some of the other pokemon that pretty much everyone should have access to by now uh, fighting terror type on the Galarian Zapdos, Shell Belt is the held item, level 100 again, hyper trained and all that jazz. With the moveset, bulk up light screen and thunderous kick, again a bit like the body press on the Como or make sure your thunderous kick is PP max. So you've got enough of them to get you through the raid, although you shouldn't need it really too much with the Galarian Zapdos. 
The ability is Defiant there, so anytime you do take the Charm, it'll lower your attack by two stages, but the Defiant will kick in and then reset those drops so you don't take a drop at all. And with the Baby Doll Eyes, you actually end up getting a plus one rather than a minus one with the Defiant ability. The EV spread on the Zapdos that we do have is going to be 252 in HP, 204 in defense and the rest put in special defense i'll make sure that's on the screen for you just to see that ev spread so you know exactly what you want to build for this galarian zapdos the nature is adamant on this one and the basic premise is to get a bulk up turn one and then just start spamming thunderous kick if you feel like you're subjected to those hyper voices or weak to them at all you can set up a light screen but basically all you're going to be wanting to do after the ev has nullified all of your stat boosts on your side of the field get another couple of bulk ups off and then just continually use that thunderous kick you'll be getting recovery through the shell bell item and you'll be lowering the defense on the ev every time you use the thunderous kick even through the shield so you're maximizing your damage as much as possible throughout the raid and just kind of getting that momentum swing making it a very easy way to beat the ev when you take galarian zapdos into this raid and the final build that we're going to feature in today's and i will suggest is carbink and i have to give a big shout out to steve over at pokemon cast here for this idea i did see his coverage on it and it really inspired me to try this out going into the raid and it is very effective i would say a tiny bit slower than the coma although but it is very good it is going to be able to do the job for you over this weekend. So for all you Carbink fans, it is a great option to use. Carbink going to be a rock and fairy type Pokemon, but we've changed the terror type to fighting. And we've got the Shell Bell item on there as a line of recovery. I do feel like this is quite essential throughout the raid. If you are going in solo, of course, level 100, hyper trained, all of that with the moveset, reflect, light screen, iron defense and body press again. Just make sure that you have PP max that body press with an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 defense and the rest put in special defense with the ability clear body. So the nice thing about clear body is it ignores all of those status moves like the charm, like the baby doll eyes. So your stats cannot be lowered, even though it wouldn't really affect you too much anyway. But you'll have that resistance to normal type attacks with the rock typing until you do terrestrialize. So just bear that in mind. The basic premise of this one is going to be getting an iron defense up turn one, then spam body press until you can terrestrialize. Wait until it nullifies your stat boost on your side of the field. Set three iron defenses up and then spam body press. Now the EV will nullify your stats on your side of the field twice. So after it does it a second time, just set your three iron defenses up once again. Get to that plus six defense stat and then start utilizing the body press once again. The shell bell item is going to come in pretty clutch here to get your HP recovery back in a position where you can just continue to use the body press until the EV is taken out. But like I say, one of the best options going in this weekend, along with the Galarian Zapdos. But like always, we'll jump into the raid now. I'll show you how effective this coma all can be against the Eevee. Not one of the harder seven star raids that we've had recently, but it isn't something to take lightly. I think the Eevee, because of the shield going up turn one, like we're going to see in a minute, does make it pretty difficult to deal with. And of course, if you've got an attacker that is susceptible to those charms, to those baby doll eyes, it can but get pretty difficult. And the Eevee is hitting pretty hard with the double edge as well. Remember, it is getting double stab off that with that normal terror type that it does have access to. We'll see the baby doll eyes come out here turn one. That can be random onto any of the four targets, but we're going to not really worry about it at all. It's lowering our attack stat. We're just going to lock in with an iron defense and boost our defense up by two stages here. So just kind of giving us a bit more damage output with our body press. And you can see already the soundproof coming into effect here as the Eevee goes for that hyper voice. Early on, it is going to nullify the stat drops on its side of the field but because we're not really concentrating on anything like that we don't need to worry about that side of things at all and even if a charm comes out like we're seeing now from the ev again because we're concentrating a little bit more on our defensive stat than our attacking stat in this instance we don't really care about anything that the ev can do to drop our stats so it will revert to using things like bite things like double edge even though it's not going to do too much anyway and you will generally see at the start of the raid as well around turn three, turn four, it will steal some of your terror power. So it's going to prolong the time until you can terrestrialize in the raid. But like you can see here, the Eevee not doing any damage and that's after one iron defense. So really not in any worries at all. We'll just fire off these body presses until the point where we can terrestrialize. 
and then we'll try and stack up those two additional uh, iron defenses that we need to max out our defense before we start launching these body presses off like i say we'll just go for that third and final iron defense and that will max out our defense stat and then we're going to be ready to start launching off these body presses as the eevee is like it's left to go for moves that are just doing negligible damage nothing to worry about making the comma or in my mind probably one of the quickest ways to beat this and although the damage output isn't amazing uh, in comparison to other seven star raids it's still good because you know there we go nullifies the stat boost on our side of the field so you can just spam the body press here but it's probably worth taking the time to just get those extra iron defenses up so your your damage is, is maximized there's our third and final iron defense off the eevee again will throughout the raid negate any stat drops on its side of the field but we're in that position again where we're plus six defense and we'll be able to do great damage with this body press we'll probably see the eevee nullify the stat boost on our side of the field one more time like i say it's normally around when it gets to a third hp Yes, so probably after this next body press, it'll nullify our stats again. But again, we're going to be in a position where we can just go for another three iron defenses and then two more after that should be enough to pick up the knockout onto the Eevee. And it is really that simple. Como was the first Pokemon I took into the raid and beat it pre pretty handily the first time around. Uh, then I've tested a bunch of other things after that. Like I say, the Glaring Zapdos, very good. And then the Carbink, another really solid option. You can see that it did nullify our stats again. So we have to go for those three uh, Iron Defenses again. You could probably get away at this point with just going for one Iron Defense. It might work out a little bit quicker. But like I say, we just want to be maximizing our damage at all points. Now I did try Annihilate in the raid. And Annihilate is going to be fine uh, going into this raid. Obviously, before you terrestrialize, you're going to be immune to any of the bledge any of the hyper voice and the bite is not really got the base power to be doing the damage that it would need to you've got the defiant ability as well which is kind of like reversing any of those drops and kind of turning them on their head uh, so and i a decent option and with the metronome item you can just sit and spam drain punch for the entirety of the match so it is going to be able to do a decent job against Eevee. It's just a lot slower than something like Como, or at least that's what I found in my testing. So Annihilate is going to be a decent option, just not the most effective to go in uh, and farm over the weekend. If you are wanting to do the Eevee repeatedly for those item drops, I would say the Como from my testing is definitely the most consistent, probably the fastest out of all of the ones that we've covered in today's video. I uh, did try Lorantis, didn't really work out as well as what I planned it to. Um, and I'm sure Colvinite does a decent enough job as well uh, with the build that we kind of covered. But doesn't necessarily need the knockoff. I just prefer Coma all because of the soundproof ability. You can see here we've got so much time on the raid timer left. This last body press is going to be enough to pick up the knockout. And we kind of get through everything that the Eevee can throw out at us uh, without much trouble at all. And it is that easy so if you beat the eevee and you want to do the dens repeatedly to farm for those high cost items then just hit your home menu come in to your system settings down into system then into date and time make sure your synchronized clock for the internet is set to off then hit the date and time just toggle through this option don't change anything hit ok come back into your home menu and back into the game and all your dens will respawn so you'll be able to locate that seven star raid for Eevee once again and head over to it just to repeat it as many times as you want for all of those goody rewards that you're going to get from this event. So that is everything from today's video, friends. Like I say, all the builds will be done in the description below. Let me know what you think of them and which one you've had most success with over this weekend or other builds that you've taken in to do the Eevee with. I'd love to hear what your most preferred build would be and of course if you've enjoyed the video please do drop a like do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scholar and violet content and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye